Hey, hey, what's up everyone? Robin Crin here at Threadheads. Welcome to the show. Okay, so last week a lot of you commented on how much you liked the sweater, shrug, bolero, wrap thingy I was wearing. Well, this week I'm going to show you how to make one of your own. But first, we're going to visit the very being who inspired Crin to make it, Anastasia Louise of Bad Uncle Sister. <laughs> I'm Anastasia Louise from Bad Uncle Sister. Bad Uncle Sister is a couture costuming design performance group. I've been doing performance art for 17 years. I've been doing um, acrobatic uh, stilt walking with Carpet Bag Brigade, is, uh, where I first started into costume design. Uh, we had to make our own costumes, and I was really very upset about this because I didn't know how to sew. So I railed and yelled about it for a week on end, and within uh, seven months I was their main costume designer. I'm totally self-taught. I don't actually know how to sew. I just fake it till I make it. <laughs> and this one, I faked till I made. And this actually was garbage left on my friend's front doorstep. Every piece of this was in a bag to go into the garbage. The only reason I do any of this is for human connection. This is just fabric. This is nothing. It, fashion doesn't matter. The fabric doesn't matter. It's all about communication. I don't do any production uh, that goes out to people that I don't know. I hand make everything. I do do streetwear that you can get once a month at my trunk sales and that's it. If you want to find more about Bad Uncle Sista, you can go to www.badunclesista.com. They can sign up for my mailing list and get all of our performances, all the trunk show information, and all kinds of goodies. Well, if that wasn't exciting enough for you, there's more Threadheads to come. Stick around. Fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Like some kind of mechanized device built for copulation with a lady. What? Hey, welcome back. Okay, so last week, Kira Von Concrete, Elle, Holly, Waffle, and Mary Kay wrote in saying they liked the shrug sweater wrap thingy I was wearing. Thanks. Make a life in Mar asked, how do you make it? So I'm gonna show you how. For this project, we're using one extra large cotton turtleneck, a serger, scissors, thread, and pins. Take out your turtleneck, find the midpoint of the body section, and cut all the way up the front. Then cut the bottom section off, starting two inches below the armpit, and cut both arms into three quarter sleeves. Now serge around the front opening and the collar. Then make the sleeves tighter by serging along the bottom of the sleeve and the side. Serge along the top of the sleeve, stopping where the collar starts. Now serge around the opening of both sleeves. Take out your leftover fabric and cut strips that measure 3 inches by 6 inches. Serge the strips together one by one until you have a sash that you can wrap around your midsection twice, then tie in a bow and have extra hanging down. Take the sash and pin it to the back of the shrug starting in the middle and going all the way around the front on both sides. Serge it together starting at the very end of one side of the sash and going all the way to the other end. Next, serge all along the bottom of the sash and down both ends. And you are so finished. Now just go rock it with your bad self. I'd love to see what you come up with. Email a picture to us at tips at threadbanger.com or post a thread on the project section of the forums. <laughs> Hey 
thread bangers. It's Naruto Baka O2, and this is my first video response. So let me just start off by saying, oh my god, you guys are doing such an awesome job with the whole DIY thing, and it is really inspiring me to do my own DIY stuff. So first off, I started with my hair, of course, and I did a little DIY trim, and I think it turned out amazing. Second thing I did was I created my own outfit. So thanks for the tutorials, you guys are doing an amazing job. Keep it up! Well, that's it for this week. A big thanks to Ajax in 2010 for posting this picture on the forums. I loved it so much, I made one of my own! And don't forget about the Janome Sewing Machine Contest. We're giving one machine away to one lucky threadhead, and it could be you. Check the contest page for more details. Till next week, see ya!